I'm Jenny Fish with One Big Happy Yarn Company and welcome back to our 2024 Block of the Month Knit Along. It's all about two color knitting techniques. Let's take a look here at our finished blanket. Here was block one where we worked these amazing stripes. And then block two, we did these alternating between the two different colors to give it this little tic-tac design. All right, are you ready for block number three? This is Intarsia, right here. We're doing just some simple squares, changing out some colors, and I'll show you this technique. Super easy, super simple. Sounds way more complicated than what it really is. This is the individual block right here. So we have patches of two colors. Easy peasy. All right, let's get started. First of all, we're gonna cast on 20 stitches, and we're going back to our size eight knitting needle because this is just stockinette same as we've done before um, so if your gauge is a little off just remember you can adjust your needle sizes um, but this is the same as the very first block so whatever needle size you used for there will work for here as well should give you the same gauge I am back to the eight I've gone ahead and cast on 20 stitches with my first color you guys know how to do that by now it's long tail cast on now we're gonna get started with our block. We are going to knit 10 stitches in our first color, super simple. One, two, nine and ten then I need to knit the next ten stitches in my second color so what I'm going to do is same as before I inserted my needle into the stitch I'm going to make a loop with my new collar wrap that yarn around and just start knitting this is for row one So I'm probably back with the purple until I get to the color change. So it's 10 stitches and then you're gonna see that it changes back to the white. And again, these get a little loose, that's okay. You can tug on those tails to tighten those up like that. Now I'm changing to the white color. What I like to do is take the old color, place it over the new color, and bring the new color back around. And what that's gonna do is it wraps those two strands of yarn around each other to secure so I don't get a hole. If you don't wrap those two, uh, if you don't wrap the stitches, or the, hold on. If you don't wrap the yarn before you knit into the next stitch, you could get a hole. So it's very important that you do that wrap. Let me show you that again. I just knit this last purple stitch and I'm going to the white section, putting my needle into purl. I'm taking my old yarn, which is the purple, over the new yarn, which is the cream or the white, and then I'm gonna purl that stitch. So I've basically locked those two together by doing that. Now I'm just continuing purling with the white till I get to the end of this row. And then we'll knit back and I'll show you how I um, wrap that yarn when I switch back to the purple. Okay, so now I'm back to the right side of my work. I'm going to knit the 10 stitches till I get to the color change. Here we go. Now, I want to insert my needle into that first stitch. I take the white, because that's now the old color. I'm moving it over to this. I'm coming underneath with the purple, and when I knit in here, you can see behind those two wrap around each other. 
that's gonna close up any holes that I might get. I'm gonna continue knitting and purling, follow the pattern until you have made your first two squares and you're ready to switch colors. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so on this sample here, I've gone ahead and I've knit both of the squares and I'm ready to start this change right here where I'm completely changing the colors. I've gone ahead and cut my yarn. I don't need those anymore. I'm gonna start fresh on this next row. Insert my needle, bring in my yarn, and then I'm gonna knit till I get uh, to, I'm gonna knit the first 10 stitches in the new color. And then when I get to the second part, I'm gonna change just like I did down here. Just add that new color. And then I'll pick up the purple. Make the loop, wrap it around and start knitting with it. Everything else stays the same. I just wanted to go over the fact that once I finish those first two blocks, I do clip my yarn and start over. And I'll show you on this sample that I have here. I have not woven in my ends yet because I wanted to show you what this looks like. You may get a little bit of a hole here in the center. Well, that's because you have your ends that you need to weave in. So at this point, I'll tuck it and then I want to when I weave in these ends, I wanna show you just a little tiny trick because I found this important. This is the center of this block and I really don't want that hole there. And it may make you a little nervous. So what I do, let me, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and, what am I doing? Thread my needle. <laughs> Helps if you have the right side of the needle. Okay, I wanna show Right here, this is where it was wrapped, and I kind of gently tug on this and it closes that hole up. I want to finish that stitch, so I'm going to go down through, so I've gone around the wrap and through that purl bump, and that kind of finishes that off. Now when I come on this side for the purple, I'll do the same thing and go through over here to finish that stitch off. When you look at your work, you can see how that slides in there. And I'll go right through there to finish that off. Then I'll just go ahead and I like to come up here and do like a duplicate stitch to weave in my ends. I'm gonna go under here and under here, keeping that over there. And that will very nicely close up that hole that's in the center of the work where those met. Okay, I'll just show you with this purple now. I'm gonna go through here I'm actually gonna go through this one too to kind of secure that. And then I'll do my duplicate stitch to weave in those ends and finish that off. And then nice and neat. See that center there? No hole. I wanna go over that because that's a little tricky on this one, but we have learned two color intarsia squares for block number three. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I This one was kind of a, very simple, yet I learned a lot of techniques making this one. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. We'll see you next month for block number four. Happy knitting.